Tombi, a straight cat, walked into a math class and quickly became very close with the kids. But when a big problem was about to happen and break this bond, the kids did something that no one could have imagined. On one cold Monday morning a normal math class, in a small grade school in Ayer, Turkey, turned into something magical. As the third graders got settled in their seats, an orange cat with its tail held high walked into the room. The kids looked at each other with surprise, and their teacher, Miss Pinar, couldn't help but raise an eyebrow at the guest. She looked at the cat with a stunned and amused look on her face. She didn't want to scare it away, so she let it walk free for a few minutes and waited for it to leave on its own. She did this because she thought it would add something unique to the otherwise boring class routine. It was a bad choice on her part because it turned out that the class and their new animal friend would become very close. It was one of the stray cats that lived in the schoolyard. People called it Tombi, but he was not like them. He seemed to like being around people more than the others. He would talk to the kids during breaks or at the end of the day to get their attention. They were happy to do what he asked and petted his fur, played with him, and even gave him treats. However, Tombi chose to take their partnership to the next level one day. Tombi strutted back into the classroom with confidence in the middle of a math lesson briefly interrupting the lesson. He looked like he didn't want to leave this time though. Miss Pinar didn't try to get Tombi to leave, she just left the cat alone. She already knew everything about the stray cat that liked to learn, but why should she keep it from him? But she let him stay for another reason too. The third graders were known for getting excited about small things and often keeping the class from paying attention with their silly acts. They would often lose focus on things like lost toys, borrowed pens, and makeshift games. But when Tombi started coming over regularly, things changed. The kids were able to concentrate better. They started to play less during lessons when the cat was around to make sure they didn't step on or bother their new pet friend. Miss Pinar saw that her class had changed for the better. No longer was there the normal chaos, but there was a new sense of order whenever Tombi was there. Now the kids were interested in paying attention in class. Even the most naughty kids were interested in Tombi's antics and chose to pay attention in class instead of getting into trouble like normal. Every day, Tombi's connection with the class grew stronger. The kids were looking forward to seeing him and the cat seemed to enjoy the lively mood in the classroom. The students found comfort and joy in Tombi, who turned an ordinary math class into a place where people laughed and learned. But things quickly became less happy in Miss Pinar's third grade class when a worried parent brought up the possibility of allergies. The parent told the school about the cat because they were worried about how it might affect the health of some of the kids. Even though Miss Pinar tried to explain how the cat made the class better, the school chose to move the cat to protect the students' health. Miss Pinar had to find Tombi a new home, which made her sad. As word spread among the students that the cat had left, the once buzzy classroom turned sad. The kids had grown close to their cat friend and didn't understand why something that made them so happy had to be taken away. For Tombi's shots, Miss Pinar took him to a vet hospital where she looked for a new home. The vet's office was tense and Tombi seemed uncomfortable because he could feel the change. This normal visit became a stark reminder of how much his life had changed. He finally found a new home, but the cat had a hard time getting used to it. He stopped eating and showed signs of depression. In its strange setting, it took a toll on his health. While this was going on, the students were dealing with the mental turmoil of losing their cat friend Tombi without knowing about his problems. The students learned that Tombi was unhappy and their once joyous moods were now filled with sadness. In order to get back in touch with their furry friend, the students wrote emotional letters and drew pictures, putting all of their thoughts and feelings on paper. But it looked like their efforts were pointless because Tombi stayed away and didn't respond. He missed the familiar faces of his third grade class. 
His new family had to give him up because of this, which was sad. It broke Miss Pinar's heart to see her children in such pain, and she also felt very responsible for Tombi. She went to the shelter where Tombi had been turned in and brought the cat home with her so she could give him the one-on-one -on -one care he needed. He was still clearly depressed and wanted to be back with his kids, who had become like a family to him. Tombi slowly started to eat again when he got to Miss Pinar's house and was alone. He felt better being with a teacher who had been kind to him, but the sorrow didn't go away and Tombi's eyes showed how sad he was to be away from his best friends from third grade. When Miss Pinar realized that the cat's heart belonged to the students, she knew she had to find a way to get him back with his friends. She came up with ways to persuade the school's leaders that Tombi's presence was necessary for the kid's safety. She knew that Miss Pinar had responsibilities outside of school, and she was determined to make things right for Tombi and her children. Miss Pinar knew it would be hard to get to the school to let the cat back into the classroom, so she chose to do something brave. Sharing Tombi's story on social media was her way of asking for help and showing how much he helped her kids. As no one expected, the post went viral, appearing on many sites and drawing the attention of both the school's administration and the head of the municipality's education department. The parents, who had first been worried about allergies, saw the touching social media post after hearing Tumby's story and seeing how close the cat was to the kids. They changed their minds. Due to the overwhelming support received, which was a result of the power of social media, the school changed its mind. When the provincial director of national education in Ayer started to look into whether the cat was a health risk to the children, he ordered that Tombi be put back with his friends. The third grade kids were very excited when they heard that Tombi was back. The news spread like wildfire through the school. Their fuzzy friend was coming back, and soon the classroom would be full of the happiness and laughter he brought. As soon as the choice was made, Miss Pinar took Tombi to the vet with the kids to get a full checkup and shots. The kids showed they cared about his health because they wanted to keep their cat friend company. The trip to the vet made sure he was fit and ready to go back to being a popular classmate. When Tombi came back to school, the students took on the duty of taking care of their furry friend. They learned how to be kind to animals and took turns making sure he felt loved and cared for. The class had gone from being wild to being a safe place for duty and kindness because of their amazing cat friend. Miss Pinar was truly moved by how Tombi helped her students, and she got the idea for an educational book series from him. Tumby and his classmates went on many adventures in the show, which taught viewers the importance of friendship, duty, and kindness. The books moved students all over the country, which inspired them to read and learn more. It was much bigger than anyone thought that the Tumby and his friends book series would be so popular. The books were a big part of the school's education because almost every kid was excited to read them. Miss Pinar's project not only helped the students learn to read and write better, but it also taught them the important lessons about understanding and kindness. After that, this determined teacher chose to use the money from the book series to do good things outside of school. The money was given to the neighborhood animal shelter to help take care of and treat other animals in need. Tumby's amazing journey not only made the students' lives better, but it also led to good changes in the community as a whole. The fact that Miss Pinar cared about her students and Tumby's health showed that the teacher's duties go beyond lessons and textbooks. The link between the stray cat and the third grade class showed how powerful kindness and understanding can be. It taught everyone that connections that come from the most unexpected places can lead to amazing moments in everyday life.